Hey Libra, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a lovely sign of Libra. So if you're a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Libra, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, I reply. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. Well, we, you could be dealing with another air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have three swords card here, three and five of swords. We have the two of swords in the mix as well. So this person knows that they have broken your heart. They know that they have caused you a lot of pain here. You are still feeling heart, heartbroken. There's a lot of emotional pain you are going through. Uh, and they know the reason they are you are heartbroken is because of wh whatever argument, whatever conflict, whatever fight that was there between the both of you, whatever games they played, that's the reason why you are emotionally blocked right now or you are emotionally hurt. This person is aware of what they have done. This person also thinks and believes the reason you are acting so cold and detached from them right now or the reason you have become much more stricter with them or much more you are very uh, aware of your boundaries right now or you are very it's like you are very strict about your boundaries and the reason this person feels like you are very strict about your boundaries or you have strong boundaries right now is again because they did play games they manipulated you so that is it's like the reaction they are getting for what they have done from you or however you are behaving is a reaction of what they have done to for some of you, this person knows we do have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person knows that you really had high hopes from this relationship or connection. You really did think this relationship or connection is going to go somewhere to the uh, Ten of Pentacles kind of. like So this is marriage, commitment, long-term long -term goals, everything. This person knows that... Uh, Sorry, this person knows that this is the kind of dream you had. This is what you were looking for in this connection and looking for with them here. And you are heartbroken because you feel like you might not be able to, like, this might seem like a far-fetched idea right now. This person feels that you think this is a far-fetched idea right now with them. It's, it's like this person is seeing themselves through your eyes right now and this person feels like 333 there. This person feels like you really don't see them in a good light or you really don't see them in a good energy right now like you you don't see them in a good light you don't see them as a good person right now because this person is seeing themselves through your eyes like they are putting themselves in your shoes and then looking at the entire uh, situation here between the both of you this person oh well that's your energy yeah, look at the change of energy. We have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. This person is very, very... Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands. This person is very aware of what they have done here. For some of you, this was someone who was... Um, they had their options open or they were fooling around. They were messing around. They were doing... They, they were up to no good. That's what I got here with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands. This person was up to no good. And for some of you, you really... Because we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. That is their divine feminine energy. You could be dealing with another Libra or a Taurus here. Uh, or a Pisces Cancer, but this is the Divine Feminine Energy and the Empress is, the Empress looks towards the future. The Empress is very, um, she cares about this Ten of Pentacles a lot. The Empress is a very nurturing, caring energy as well because she is the Divine Mother. Uh, so Divine Mother, Divine Feminine Energy. 
So whatever nurturing, caring energy you had, you don't have that energy anymore. Not to mention, look at that. We have the High Priestess and the Empress here together. This combination... Uh, this is a good combination and I have been uh, like... This combination is coming up lately, not in all readings, but... It has come up in few readings, couple of readings in the week before as well. So, um, yes, this is the divine feminine energy and you are very much like from the being the empress, you became the queen of source. That is a switch of energy. That is like someone who was nurturing, caring and giving. From there, you turned into someone who is very, very cold and calculative and very detached and very like unemotional right now. You're looking at this person from an unemotional uh, energy you're looking at them from a very very practical and realistic standpoint you might not have been this practical uh, before when you were dealing with this person you might have been the opposite of that you might have made decisions from your heart rather than from your head you might have completely ignored to what your intuition or your head was telling but right now this person feels and sees you as someone who's listening much more to your to your like you are listening to your head rather than to your emotions you are not being that emotional at all and again, that energy of this person is aware that they are the reason why you are behaving the way you are behaving. It's almost like someone who's missing that that empress energy. They are missing that empress energy here. We have the five of swords and the high priestess. So for some of you, you really did ignore your intuition when it comes to this person. This is also what I'm getting. This person almost feels like this is a this is their energy here. They feel like how could you not see certain things they were doing? It's almost like this person doesn't understand because they do see you as someone who's very very intuitive. You're very connected. You're very spiritual and all of that. So this person isn't uh, sort of a uh, sh like shock here, or they sort of can't believe. More like they can't believe that someone like you couldn't see through what they were doing. Someone like you. Um, for some of you what i'm getting here is this person feels like someone like you was giving to them to begin with so or someone like you didn't see what they were doing here even though you are intuitive you couldn't pick up what this person was doing this person is surprised that your guards are up now and your guards weren't up to begin with or your guards like you should have seen whatever they were doing much earlier this is how this person feels like you should have already seen what they were doing earlier you should have already understood what this person was doing earlier so almost like this person feels surprised that it took you this long to figure out what they were doing. I don't know. This, this feels like someone who's very self-aware right now. Like they're aware of what they have done and they are... It's, it's, it's like someone who is surprised that you didn't see them, see through them earlier. It took you this long. That's what is surprising to this person here. Sagittarius, the world in reverse. Hmm. Could be dealing with fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, or a Sagittarius. Um, you are ignoring this person, or you feel like whatever this person. It's almost this energy of you feel like no matter what kind of apology they bring towards you now, no matter what kind of offer you bring, they bring towards you now. You are so heartbroken. You are in so much emotional pain that it will be difficult for you to forgive this person. It will be difficult for you to, you know, sort of uh, brush aside what they have done in the past and start new, start fresh. Although you do feel an unfinished business with this person, for some of you, with the world in reverse, you feel like there was no closure here, there is still that unfinished business, but at the same time, you feel like after what they have done, it will be very, very difficult for you to forgive this person. You have to be, it's going to be very difficult to let go of what they have done here and start fresh. Like you, you feel it's very difficult. 
for some of you with the temperance you're just trying to heal yourself you do uh, you do want to balance the situation this is what this is a very contradictory energy i'm picking up on so you do feel unfinished business and for some of you you do want to heal the situation but at the same time there's sort of this defensiveness you have when it comes to this person when it comes to any sort of reconciliation with them any sort of apology or offer from their side because you feel like after what they have done it is going to be very very difficult for you to just forgive and start new with this person here forgive and start fresh at the same time there is a deep desire of not desire it's like deeply you feel like this is not over between the both of you you feel like there's still some something is still not over it still doesn't feel over you are also trying to heal yourself with the temperance card here five of swords you're trying to heal yourself from what this person has done it's almost like you keep thinking about whatever this person has done it keeps this uh, the scenarios the dialogues or whatever this person has done it keeps replaying in your head over and over again and all you try to do all you focus is at all not all you focus is at what you're trying to do right now is trying to not think of what they have done trying to not focus on what they have done instead of uh, focusing on what they have done or how they did or what they did why they did you are just trying to heal yourself you're just trying to put that energy in yourself and trying to rebalance what i heard is rebalance your chakras is what i got or like bring balance back into your life more like or being emotionally balanced for some of you you might be feeling emotionally imbalanced there could be a lot of emotional highs and lows you're going going through a lot of frustration pain anger negative emotions definitely because we do have the three of swords as the first card here but you're trying to heal all of that here because you you feel that it's required it's necessary for you to do that of course it's it is necessary for some of you you also keep thinking about is there any solution to whatever has happened between the both of you can this be solved is there a solution or like can both of you meet in like meet in between meet in the middle is there any common ground to make this work out some of you you really are feeling disconnected from your emotions as well like you're reevaluating the situation this uh, break up this uh, separation between the both of you is helping you reevaluating everything in your life doesn't have to be everything could be just this particular connection it's helping you reevaluate stuff in your life some of you just feel like there was no closure here and you you are still like we don't need closure we don't it's once you know someone has treated you miserably that should be enough to make a decision you know so even if you give want to give this person uh, another chance here it's like it's up in the air for you it's like a decision you need to make although we we do have this two of swords energy here so this person feels like the balls in your court and you are the one who's going to make a decision they will have to just go back go uh, with it and they they have no choice it's like they have no choice but to just they will have to abide by your decision is what i'm getting here for some of you this is what i'm getting here you still feel that unfinished business but you it's sort of like this you are emotionally a little bit off you you are emotionally off right now when it comes to this person you're not emotionally feeling uh, a, a lot of energy here it's like you have switched off that that's the kind of energy like turned off your emotions have been turned off here Three 
some of you you uh, you know and you feel that this person hasn't yet moved on from you you know that or you feel that that this person hasn't yet moved on from you they haven't yet uh, been able to let go of the situation or connect, uh, connection for some of you this person has with the moon and the six of cups in reverse this person has some past traumas past woundings could be childhood as well here like which is the reason why this person is very uh, like they you feel like that this person needs to heal first they, for some of you this person needs to walk away from something as well here we have the six of cups and the eight of cups in reverse two of cups in reverse you feel like this person for some of you this person could be in another uh, like they were in another relationship another connection or they had some past relationship experience where they didn't it didn't really go well for this person so this person is like in that energy or you feel that this person first needs to move on first needs to let go of the past they first need to heal from the past here only then they like something between the both of you can happen you do see this person as someone who betrayed you betrayed your trust you you feel like this person could have caused some unnecessary drama in your life scandal gossip that kind of thing like this person brought in a lot of unnecessary energy in your life unnecessary drama or unnecessary gossip in your life that's what you feel not too much you feel like the, if this person did put you in a third party you're like uh, you know very well that you don't want to be put in a third party you don't want to deal with someone who's putting you in a third party you're very very sure of that For some of you, you have gotten bored of this person's excuses. So this is what I'm getting here. You might feel like this person, uh, like they gave a lot of excuses for how they are, who they are. They gave a lot of ex excuses and you are sort of bored of this person's excuses. You're like, I, I'm done hearing your excuses over and over again until and unless you heal your past, you deal with that third party situation. Don't come near me. That, that's the kind of energy I'm picking up for some of you here. If this person was in a third party and that th third party wasn't really a good thing, it wasn't really healthy, it wasn't really good, your person here still was stuck in that third party because it was like, it was too scary for this person to let go of the third party to move forward. Yeah, you could be dealing with someone like you feel like you don't trust this person at all. Neither do you trust them nor do you know everything about them. It's almost like you feel like a lot of things were up in the air with this person here and this person didn't give you any sort of clarity. So that is why you are in this queen of swords energy. Because first you need to know everything about this person. Only then you, you, you can hear them out or you can give them another chance or you will think about it. It's like speak the truth to me truth or just leave tell me the honest truth or leave that's the kind of energy i'm picking up on Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. All right. This person feels like you, they cannot give you the kind of commitment you're looking for, not at least right now. They definitely want to communicate with you. They feel like they want to talk to you. There was a lot of flirtatious energy between the both of you, a lot of bantering between the both of you. This person definitely misses talking to you, misses um, all your conversations. This person really, really misses that. But here's the thing. This person feels like whatever you're looking for right now, the, because this is what you were looking for. Remember how the Ten of Pentacles did come out earlier and I said, this is the kind of foundation this is the kind of relationship or stability you're looking for this person feels they can't give you 
give you this ten of pentacles kind of relationship or uh, uh, commitment right now they can't give you what you're looking for they want to it's almost like this is someone who's in that helpless kind of energy of i want to give you that but there's still some things i need to work on there's still some past traumas i need to heal or there's still a third party situation i first need to uh, clear only then i can make a move towards you only then i can give you the kind of commitment you're looking for and this person feels this this is the energy this person feels like you have sort of gave them some sort of ultimatum or you have said some harsh truth to, to this person here because of which this person feels like you are not willing to listen to them anymore you're not willing to understand their perspective or their point you are just thinking of yourself you're just thinking of what you want but you're not trying to understand what they are going through or what they want so if this person has some past traumas, past woundings, or they have some third party situation that's still there here, this person is that energy of Libra is not understanding what I'm going through. Libra is not understanding what I'm facing here. Libra just wants commitment. Libra just wants what Libra wants. Libra isn't listening to me. That's the kind of energy. It's almost like this person feels like uh, you don't care about their situation right now you just care about yourself because this is someone who is telling me the energy of this person is telling me that they want long term they want a new beginning here because we have the sun and the ace of wands sun is the happiest card of the deck so this person does see a lot of happiness with you they do see the potential of a new beginning with you as well because they feel so happy with you they definitely want a new beginning but this person feels like they can't give you what you truly want right now they are not ready for that yet they are they are not in a situation for some of you this person is going through something financial as well here like their finances could finances could be like they are in a tough spot they are working on something but they are not getting the results they were building something but it sort of failed for some of you if this person was in business or they were they had their uh, own thing or something it could have crumbled apart for some of you what i what i also got randomly is this person could have gotten fired as well so this person feels like whatever you are looking for the kind of 10 of pentacles relationship this person can't offer you that right now and they feel like you are not willing to listen to them for some of you this person also feels like uh you don't you don't trust that they can give you this ten of pentacles like you don't believe that they can give you this ten of pentacles anymore like you have lost hope in this connection you have lost faith here This person could have lied to you about their finances or they could have lied to you about a third party as well here. I'm picking up on that energy that this person could have lied to you about that. And that is why you are hurt, you know, because, because we do have a three of swords as the first card, right? So again, third party situation. That is the reason why you're hurting because... Because you have been offended, it's almost like if you this, this, this person lied to you about the third party or the finances or something serious they are going through, you are sort of angry or pissed on this person because you feel like you could have just told me the truth. Why did you have to lie to me? Yeah, this, it's almost like this person feels like if they don't give you what you want, you're just going to block them remove them from your life and walk away you're not gonna even look back like you're not gonna give this a uh, second thought here you're just gonna go walk away now i'm not saying that's what you're doing or that's what you're gonna do this is how this person feels it's almost this energy of, again as i said at the very beginning of the reading this person is seeing you through their eyes so they are not it's, it's this energy of this person is not blaming you for how you are behaving but at the same time they want you to understand their perspective they want you to understand what they are going through as well here they feel you are misunderstanding them or you misunderstood them or you um, don't think of them highly right now energy of this person feels like they are trying to understand you you should try to understand them as well it's like this person has certain complaints here i'm not saying it's i'm, I'm not saying anything this, these are not my views at all this is how this person is feeling
Ace of Wands. Yeah. It's almost like someone has to take that leap of faith. Someone has to do something here. There's no forward movement. There's stagnation here for too long. Because the Ace of Wands already did come out. It was at the bottom of the deck here. Judgment. Okay, Ace of Wands and Judgment. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Okay, so for some of you, this person feels like you are not forgiving them. This person feels that you are not forgiving them and that's the reason why there's no forward movement. That's the reason you are not giving them another chance. This person feels like you are the one who's not giving them another chance because you are not forgiving them. You're not forgiving them for what they have done. Whatever truth you found out about this person, you haven't forgi for forgiven them yet. And that is why no breakthrough is happening here. It's almost like someone needs to speak up here. You're not speaking up. This person, like you are feeling this person what did wrong to you. This, this person shouldn't have lied to you. They were non-committal. This person feels like you are not understanding their point, their perspective. It's like you both are not on the same page at all. powerless in the situation they are in this is what i was talking about with the eight of swords here like they feel powerless yeah look at that two of cups yeah this person wants to it's almost like this person wants to say that they do care about you 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 could be dealing with a virgo because bottom of the deck we have hermit this person wants to say that do they do care about you they do have feelings for you but at the same time they can't do something here because a either this person feels like you are not forgiving them because of which you are not going to give them another chance or this person feels like they are in a situation they are dealing with things here that are not in their hand that they are powerless over now i'm not saying this person is powerless over this is how this person feels nothing is my saying here so this person feels like they have they are imprisoned in a situation so again it's if this person is a third party this person has not managed to uh, cut off that third party this person uh, has some financial constraints some financial issues they have lost their job or they are experiencing uh, a loss in their business something this person feels like something is there uh, in between the both of you because of which this person cannot make a move towards you because of which they cannot approach you and this person feels like you're not understanding that Yeah, King of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Cups, they have a lot of deep emotions for you. But it's almost like, and not to mention we have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck as well. This is someone who does want to move things forward. This is someone who does want to communicate to you. They really do. They really want to take things forward here. They do want that new beginning. But this person is like, again, that same energy repeating here. King of Cups is someone who behaves very, very wisely. So this person feels like it is wiser for them right now to not talk to you, not communicate with you before they can deal with this. Because this person feels like if they approach you with the third party still being there with that, uh, you know, especially if there was a third party, if they approach you with the third party still being in the picture, then you are going to get more angry on them. And you, are, you, you might say some more stuff to them that is going to be very, very unkind for them to hear. Yeah, like this person really wants your forgiveness. They really want you to understand them. Yeah, this there's a decision you need to make here. Page of Cups. We have the Tower 
at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You, you again, there's that energy of you are still in sort of this indecision here. Now, I'm not saying all of you are indecisive at the same time. No, for some of you, what I'm picking up here with the two of pentacles and the page of cups, you are sort of indecisive. You need to make a choice here. For others of you, you are waiting for an apology from this person. You are waiting for an honest offer, honest apology from this person. Only then you are willing to, uh, yeah. You're waiting for some sort of communication from this person's side. You're waiting for the clarity, for the truth from this person's side. We are the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. You are looking for this kind of an offer from this person. Four of wands, page of cups kind of an offer. Proper apology, a proper offer where they accept their feelings or where they give you this four of wands kind of a relationship. Four of wands kind of a commitment. They can give you that. That is what you're looking for here. Yes, it's like you're waiting. But it's it's not like you're waiting around, but you're waiting for this person to do something. And in the meantime, you are focused on things that make sense here with the three of wands. So some of you have someone new you're interested in as well because you do have page of cups and page of wands. But this is like, again, if, if there is someone new you're interested in, then this is like still a, it's still in the, like it, it's not matured, it's not a matured connection, it's, I'm not saying the person isn't matured, the connection hasn't matured, it's still in the start, it's still in the beginning. of cups and the queen of cups this person knows that you have emotions for you them you have feelings for them there's no confusion in this person's part about whether you care for them or not whether you love for them or not and this person feels no matter how angry you are you still have emotions for them you still have feelings for them Communication, truth, honesty, and we have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is real new. This is someone who wants to communicate to you, wants to talk to you, wants to have the new beginning for you because this person sees you as their match and they want victory here. They want to be successful in this connection. They also, this person wants to approach you in a way where they are not going to this is what I got. This person wants to approach you in a way where they might, they does not seem like a loser. You know, like they can offer you something. This is how this person wants to come towards you. But yeah, this is communication, success, because they do have feelings for you and they do see you as their match. possibility of a new beginning here with the sun we did have the sun right so this person does as i said this person feels a lot of happiness with you we have the hierophant at the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with the taurus but yeah look at that hierophant and the ten of cups so there's a possibility of new beginning commitment here 
this is definitely in the horizon. <laughs> Eight of Cups in reverse. of pentacles if you want this kind of stability with this person if, if this is what you want if the if you are uh, okay this is what i'm getting you have some sort of lack mentality because we have the five of pentacles in reverse you have some sort of lack mentality for some of you you feel very betrayed by this person or if you feel like uh, this person is never going to give you the kind of commitment they are never they, they are going to keep promising you you will never get this and you will never have this and all of this for some of you you need to change your mindset here about what you want you could be saying a lot of negative negative things to yourself as well here but you need to there's a, a mindset you have here that needs to change when it comes to the commitment you want if you keep saying, oh, I never find someone or it will never happen with this person, this person will never make it uh, right with me. They will just keep, they'll just keep making false promises. This is not going to happen. If you keep, if you're saying things like that here, you're going to end up manifesting that. So this, this feels like a mindset that you need to change. If you want this commitment, if you want this 10 of pentacles, there's a change of mindset that needs to happen. Well, that's your reading Libra. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care guys. Bye-bye.